Ladies and gentlemen, I am back once again with another video for all you lovely people out there in the internet space universe. Today, today we have something very special that we haven't done um, yet. This will be the first video doing it. Um, we're going to be doing a an overview of our past performances in the Bitcoin Daily VIP group. Okay, this is going to be something new that we're going to be putting out there um, because a lot of people have been asking for, uh, I guess, for more transparency. Um, and they want to see what type of results we've been getting in the VIP group. It is a paid group. Um, if you guys are interested, send me a message so I can send you uh, the link and get you set up. Um, if not, it's cool. You don't have to be in it. We have our free Telegram group. These are just for the people who want um, all the trades that I'm personally making. Um, as you know, I'm more of a day trader uh, and swing trader, basically. Um, so I do a lot of day trades and a lot of swing trades. Um, I try not to hold on to too many coins for too long. I try to just get profit and keep on moving forward. Um, I trade based on technical analysis. I don't trade based on fundamentals. Okay, um, fundamentals, they're not statistics, really. Um, you can't, I, I feel like you can't base your trade off of those because um, they're just kind of uh, made up scenarios in your head that you're trying to, you know, <laughs> So I don't trade based on fundamentals. I trade solely based on statistics um, and technical analysis. So um, I started uh, tracking this in April. Um, I wish I would have started earlier, um, but I started in April. Um, and I know that in March and February, the market was down. So it probably wasn't very good months either way. Um, but I know that, you know, um, I wish I would know the exact numbers on them. Um, and I am, I've posted so many things in the group that it will take me hours to, you know, scroll all the way back and write them all down one by one and all that. And I just don't have the time for it. Um, so I started tracking this in April. Um, and we have two months now. Um, today is June 7th. So we just started the third month of this, um, and I won't be showing you guys the trades that we're making so far in this month because, as, as you can see, um, we have a lot of open trades still. Um, but I'll show you from the previous two months. So I hope this gives you guys a um, really good view of what we're doing and what we do in the Bitcoin Daily VIP group. Um, I hope it opens up your eyes a little bit to what we're doing. And if any of you are interested, as you, as you know, um, just let me know. So let's start with April. April, let me tell you guys, was a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal month for us. Um, April was, a, was the, the month that uh, Bitcoin did, uh, you know, have a great bounce back. Um, a lot of outcomes altcoins um you know just had crazy bumps during that month um as you can see here um we only we only made 10 trades in april just so you guys can see that um so i mean and the group you know i don't i'm not sure what the average is i, I think the average is probably in the 20s to 30s trades a month but for some reason in April, since we're since we just came off, you know, these two really uh, down months, I was trying to be uh, very picky with the positions and the trade setups that I was choosing, and just trying to choose the highest probability trades possible, um, because I I needed a win for my guys in the group. Um, so I got you guys a win, and I'm going to go over it. Um, so as you can see, April, we made 10 trades, and we won 10 trades. 100% winners, 0% losers. For the, the total profit loss 
was, if you add them all up together, was 547.55% profit. Um, and the average profit loss percentage per trade was 54.75. Okay, just let that sink in for a little bit. 54% profit was the average trade um, during this time in April. So let's go ahead and um, go to April. Let's go. Let's go through the trades. Let's, let's check them out. Um, all right. So it was pretty straightforward, as you can see this chart here. Um, this is uh, open close. The date that we made the trades. The date that we closed it. Um, this is, I'm supposed to put the time here, but you know I don't really keep type uh, track of the exact times, um, so I didn't put them in. Um, Long or short, so it's if we had a long position or a short position, um, you know here. Oh, I, I here I I didn't start it yet, but um, I'm supposed to put like the coin here. So the first coin was Corey. So on April first, uh, we took pos we made a trade for Corey long position um, at point zero 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 twenty nine, um, and this we ended up selling this at 0 0.00048 so you can see that we made a 65.52 percent profit um, this trade closed on April 28th so it was about a three-week trade a three-week hold on this one um, yeah that, that was our that was actually the high uh, well it went a little bit higher um, and I personally trail with the stop loss um, and sometimes I do take profits in between, um, but the final thing overall was 65% on Corey. Um, so you can see that was a win. Um, and you'll see as, as I show you more and more trades, my um, gathering of the numbers got a little bit better. Because see here, I didn't put the stop loss. I didn't enter, I didn't enter the target here, the targets. I just put the final target. Um, all right, so let's go to the second one. Also from April 1st and closed out on April 23rd. This was a long position on uh, XZC. Let me write it here. XZC. Boom. So we took a long position on the first at 0 .0044, um, and we ended up. Um, let's see. The, okay, so here the target was 0 .0085, which was a profit potential of 93%. Um, you know, we landed short of that, but we still took home a nice 18.18% profit on this one. Okay, so that was the one on the first that we closed on the 23rd. So we held that one for about three weeks. Um, our third trade was on April 2nd, um, and this one was also a long. All these were longs. Um, this one was XRP for Ripple. Um, and we came in at okay, so this one was USD, so that's why it's it's a little bit confusing here. Is that I couldn't get it to switch to USD and then switch to BTC as well, so it'll just look like that. But you'll notice here it says USD on these. Um, but um, we got in at fifty cents and we sold at ninety cents, um, so we we ended up getting a total profit of eighty percent. You'll see here our target was actually 68 cents. So um, I sold some here and then I held the rest uh, until it got to the top, which I sold at 90%. I mean, at 90 cents. Um, so total profit was 80% profit on that trade. Um, April 3rd, and this one we actually closed on May 3rd. So this one was a month long hold. On a second, I'm adjusting. Um, so April third. Let me put it here again. What was it? Ethereum. <coughs> we picked up Ethereum at. Uh, we went long on it at 404. Um, and as you know, it went up pretty high. Um, our target price was actually 446, which would have been a 10% profit. Um, but it. I didn't even sell at 446. I took maybe 10% off um, over 446 when it was in the 500s, um, and then I held the rest. 
uh, and it went all the way up to 800 is where we ended up um, selling for 98% profit. 98% profit in one month. What could 98% profit do to your bankroll, to your portfolio on one trade in one month? Think about it for a little bit. All right, on the next one, uh, April 10th, and I actually didn't write the closing bid on this one, um, but April 10th, we went long on, let's go long on, oh, on Bcash, I mean Bcash, my bad. Um, Bcash <laughs> went, we uh, bought on April 10th, so this was before that huge jump at 0 0.095 BTC, and we ended up selling at 0 0.16. BTC. So not only was that a 68% um, profit, but do the math on where BTC was on April 10th on Bitcoin's price and where it was where when we sold. I'm not sure when we sold, sometime towards the end of April, but just check the price and it would be about 100% on this property. So I didn't even include that in there. But remember that um, when you're trading pairs versus Bitcoin, whatever Bitcoin's price goes up, the value in USD goes up as well. So um, in Bitcoin terms versus Bitcoin, it went up 68%. But its value overall in USD was over 100%. All right. Um, the next one, April 10th as well, long position on, let me write it over here, ADA. All right, so on ADA, we bought in at 0 .000026. Um, our target was 5K, um, but we made it out at Four zero two seven. I'm not gonna say all those other zeros again. That's too many zeros. Um, so four zero two seven is where we um, stopped out at uh, with the trailing stop uh, for a fifty four point eighty eight percent profit on that trade, and that one uh, we closed out on May first. Um, so it was about a three week hold as well. Um, the next trade didn't come until the sixteenth. I think, I think I was just enjoying the profits so much that, um, you know, I was like, let's just ride these out. Um, on the 16th, we went long on Nano. Let me just get it here. Nano. And uh, we bought in at 0007. We got out at 001. That was a 42% profit. Yes, sir. And uh, wow, that was a really low stop loss. I think that's a mistake. I don't think I would risk 28% lost. Um, I definitely never do that. Um, but like I said, this was the first month when I first started. So I was still like confused on some of the stuff, to be honest. I wasn't filling it out completely. Um, all right, so now the 21st, um, the next trade, or oh, the last trade, the, the Nano one, um, we closed it out on May 3rd. So that was about three weeks as well. Um, the next one on the 21st, this one was actually a seven day trade, so one week. Um, this one was for ICX, right there, there boom, ICX BTC. Um, we bought in at 0004. And we sold that 0005 for a 25% profit. That one was super simple. Um, that was a seven day, per, a seven day trade. All right, um, one week, 25% profit. Not bad. Um, next one, on the 21st as well. So th that day, I was I was on it. I was on point. Um, let me click here. All right. Um, we went with Tron, TRX. Um, we bought in at 600 and we sold at 1,000. 
on the first. So that was about two weeks. Um, for a 66.67% profit. So another great win. And then the last trade of the month on April 27th. Um, this one was a two day trade actually. Um, oh, and actually my, I am blocking the name of this trade. RPX. So this one was RPX. RPX. Oh, whoops, I wrote it in the wrong place, my bad. RPX. Let me delete this one before it confuses me. Um, RPX BTC, we got in at 12.50. We got out at 1,600 for a 28% profit. All right, so that was um, a two day. In two days, we got 20%, not too shabby. Um, so that was our April. Um, we only made, in April, we only made 10 trades. We hit all 10 trades for a average profit of 54.75%. All right, so now let's go on to May. Now, you're gonna look at May and be like, wow, that was a terrible month, right? Um, May, we made 21 trades, actually 27, right? Yeah, 27 trades, because um, we have six that are still open right now, apparently. Um, the number of winning trades was eight, and the number of losing trades was 13. So I'm sure you're saying to yourself, wow, what the fuck? How do you go from 100% accuracy to 38% accuracy? Guys, I'm like I said, I am here to be super transparent. I want you guys to see what we do and how we handle even losing months. You guys are going to see the, the, the good and the bad during this series. So I want this. This is going to be a unique experience. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about this. Um, so let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it. So eight out of eight wins, 13 losses. But remember, I still got six open ones. So if I hit all six of these, then we're going to be okay. We're going to be over 50%, which I expect to happen. Um, but right now, let's, let's forget about those six. Let's just say that we have 21 trades forget about the six that are still open um, in 21 trades we only hit eight of them and we're wrong on 13 of them so 38 percent right now check this out though even though we were wrong 61.9 percent of the time the total profit loss of me is 63.69% and the average profit loss percentage per trade is still plus 3.03% so we still made a profit in May alright I just want you guys to, to see that we are still profitable in May even with a 38% accuracy and if these six hit, this is going to shoot up over 50%. Um, um, and this is the, the total profit loss and the average profit loss uh, per trade is going to shoot up. And we'll have, it's, it's a winning month. It's still, even though we only hit 38% of our trades, we still got a winning month. We, we're in profit 3%. Now let's take a look. Uh, what went wrong <laughs> all right so as you can see here there's a lot of L's <sighs> yep we caught a lot of L's during this month but we won the important ones and I and, and this is one of the things that I that I preach about in my new course that I'm working on um, about how to be a profitable trader um, how to take proper risk management and how to um, you know minimize your losses and maximize your winners um, so the first trade that we took here was May 3rd XRP we bought at 87 um, ended up selling at 81 
for a minus 6.9 percent we're trying our target was 1.15 a dollar a dollar and 15 cents um so we completely missed that but we only took a 6.9 percent loss and we stopped out we, we cut that short um the next one on the fourth was iota we bought at two dollars um and we sold at a dollar 87 for 6.5 percent loss so two losses in a row notice both losses are pretty small um the third one may 6 bos we bought at 16 you know after it dropped from 26 down to 16 we thought wow this is a great price um let's see if it hangs on but nope <laughs> it kept dropping um, and we got out at 14.50 um, for a uh, negative 9.38% loss. All right. Um, next one. And notice all of these are pretty short trades. Four days. This one was a little bit longer. 13 days, two weeks. Um, this one was four days. So these dropped on us really quick. Um, Tron. This was a winner. Here's a winner. Got on, on the 5th. Sold on the 25th. Um, we got in at 900, sold at 1,000 for 11.11%. .11%. Um, our target was 31, didn't quite reach it, but we're happy with taking our 11. And I don't know, I think that was the final target. There were target, targets in between. I wasn't just aiming for one straight shot to 244% profit. Um, but yeah, and, and I'm sure I wasn't aiming for 22 loss potential either. So, um, but we did win this one. Um, so that was our first win of the month. Um, on the 9th, we took um, XMR at 220 USD. Um, and we stopped out at 215 USD for a 2.2% loss. So we kept a, a, a tight, tight stop on that one. And that's because uh, everything was kind of going down. Um, wanted to keep it kind of tight. Um, next one is on the 10th. We did that, got in at 4,000, and we sold at 4,300 for a 7.5% win. And that trade took one week. Notice XMR, we sold, we got off the same day. Um, yeah, this one was one week. In one week, we made 7.5%. Um, next one on the 10th, Neo, we bought in at $70. Um, but we never sold and I should have sold um, I'm sure people in my chat probably did sell um, but I never sold um, and the reason why was because I made a mistake and I didn't set the stop loss correctly um, so I had slippage um, and it didn't end up selling by the time I noticed it was under $60 and I was like, you know, how much further can it go, really? Um, and then it dropped to $45. So that's why you sell. That's why you set a stop loss. Um, once it got to 45 I was like, I'm at 45 How much lower can it go? Um, and thank God it stopped going that low. Um, so I'm still holding on to that. I've actually took a new position on that. And I'll get to that one. Um... So the next one, so that's a lesson. See, even I make, I make mistakes, man. It's, it's normal. Um, so the meal um, hodling. May 11th, uh, we went long on XVG at 757. We got out at 670, 11% loss. The 16th, Doge at 50. We got out at 48, 4% loss. On the 16th, NXS, this kind of what saved our month, really. Um, we got in at 24, and we sold at 35 for a 45% profit. So that was huge. But see, now do you guys understand the part of, um, you know, taking, it's okay to take losses as long as they're small losses. And then when your winners hit, they're going to hit, you know. So you're, you're kind of swinging for the fence. Um, so it's fine. You're going to strike out a lot. As long as they're small, though, it doesn't matter because what's going to matter at the end is when you hit the big one. 
Um, so it's that's why sometimes I make so many trades because I I rather take minimal a lot of small losses than miss out on a big trend on a big um, upswing. So you know it's a, it's a numbers game. As long as you take proper risk management, you'll be fine. Um, next one on the 18th uh, with BCN, we got in at 100, sold at 90 for a 10% loss. Um, ADA on the 18th, this one's actually still open, got in at 3,000, and we're still holding that currently. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it's at right now. I think it's at 27, um, but I am still holding. This is another one that I did not set a stop loss on. Um, I should have probably set it around 28, 27, but um, you know it's still running. Oh look, I did. I set it at oh okay. I'm sorry. I did set a stop loss at 27, but it, it never triggered, so I'm still holding. Cool. Um, so yeah, so that would have been a 10% loss if I sold it, but it's not. It's still an open position. So even though I'm down from where I bought, since the trade's not closed. It you know it doesn't count in here. Um, on the 18th again, ICX bought in at 43, sold at 40 for a seven six point nine eight percent loss. Um, that was a three day trade. On the 19th, got Ven at 50, sold at 46 for an eight percent loss. On the 20th, got in at on Elf 15.5. There's a like a fly or something. Sold at 15 for a 3.23% loss. BCN took another 10% loss on BCN. BCN got me twice. Um, this is one on the 22nd. Yep, BCN got me twice on Zcash. Um, we're still holding our position on Zcash. This is from the 23rd, so this is about two weeks ago. We're still holding our position because it never hit our stop, which was at 6%. It never hit, so we're still holding. Um, Bitcoin. Uh, what do we do here on Bitcoin? Okay, so Bitcoin. This one was a leveraged trade, actually. Um, I don't have it here with leverage, but it was a two times leverage, two x leverage, uh, long trade. We got in at seventy three eighty, got out at sixty seventy six ten, um, for a profit of three point two times two. So that'll be six point twenty four percent profit something like that so it's actually more than what it says here we made six percent profit on this one um, thinking I don't know if my numbers are right on that I, I think it might have been higher I think it's I think it's uh, like a nine percent I don't know whatever um, anyways on the 26 we got in on salt at 25,300, um, we're still holding. We never hit our stop, so our stop was set to 3.5%. Um, hasn't hit, so we're still holding that. Um, Zcash got in on the 26 for 275. We stopped out right away for 267, and which was awesome because we only lost basically 3% on that trade. And look at where Zcash is at now. It like dropped, huge drop. So that's why you need to minimize your losses. Um, Wabi, Wabi. On the 27th, we got in. Um, this one we just actually got out of uh, recently for a 31.25% profit. Um, and this is within what, like a week? This is within a week. Um, we hit a 31% profit on this one. Um, our target was 100% though, so I was kind of sad. But that this was our final profit, our final target. So I did have targets in between. Um, on the 28th, meme, we got in at 2,000, and we are still currently holding. It never hit our stop. I'm not sure what the stop is because I, for some reason, I didn't add it in. Um, but it's, I believe it's still around the same price range, I think. Um, but it hasn't hit our target or our stop, so we're still holding that. Um, NEO, we got in. So I remember I told you I took a new position on NEO. So I bought in at 47. 
this is a trade that I posted in the VIP um, and we sold at 56 for a 19.15% profit. Um, we closed that out on the first um, and I'm actually waiting and looking for a new position on Neo. Did I buy back in? I don't know if I bought back in yet or not. Um, ADA on the 30th got in at, so don't mind the price, it's like point zero 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 all the zeros and then 2738 at the end, I just wrote it like this for some reason. Um, and we actually made a profit of 7.74% on this one. So that one was cool. As you can see, the end of May, we got a lot more winners. Check out the, the last, let's look at the last 10 trades if possible. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven, and then one, two, three. So we won seven and lost two, right? Eight. I'm sorry, I'm confused. One, two, three, four, five. We won five, uh, lost two, so five and two, and then we have three that are open. Um, so our last trades actually did pretty good. Um, as you can see, the, the month started turning a bit, and giving us some, uh, you know, finding the bottom and reversing a little bit, giving us a nice bounce. Even though on the 31st, we shorted, see that's why we lost, we shorted BTC at 75.30, I think at 2x leverage as well, um, and it went up to 76. So we got stops at 93, basically 1% times two, so we lost about 2% on that. And the last trade that we made in May, the 31st, uh, Zelica, Zill, uh, 1425 got out at 1718 for a 20% profit so as you can see guys I am super tired of talking <laughs> that was really long um, but yeah that's been the, the recap of the last two months um, in July I will do a recap of this month as you can see right now um, we've had four trades closed so far, we've won two, we've lost two, um, and we currently have 20 open trades. That's right. The first week of June, we're already up to 20 open trades. Um, six of those trades, though, I believe are still from May. So we have 14 open trades, um, 14 trades plus the four. <laughs> we have <laughs> 18 trades total in June so far. Um, so yeah, guys, if you guys are interested in the Bitcoin daily VIP, um, send me a message. I will, um, give you the instructions, the price, um, and all that other fun stuff. Um, I will be doing these regularly on a monthly basis, updating you guys, keeping you guys up to date on exactly how we're doing in the Bitcoin VIP group just so you guys can be in, have the inside scoop on it. Um, I want you guys to, I want to show you guys the transparency and I want you guys to see what's going on. I want you guys to see the winners and the losers, the joy and the pain. Um, and I want to see, I want you guys to see how you can profit no matter what the market conditions are. Um, there's always ways to profit with uh, proper risk management and um, minimizing your losses and maximizing the profits. Um, that's basically it, man. I am out of here. It's 2.19 a.m. Um, I'll be posting this up probably uh, today in the morning or tomorrow or whatever. Um, guys, follow me on Instagram, Bitcoin.daily. We are the biggest community page for Bitcoin on Instagram. Um, any other page that you see with more followers than us, they bought their followers and they're off it. And you can tell easily just by going to their pictures, looking at how many likes they have and what their engagement is, like how many comments they have. Um, you know, a lot of times you'll see that they have um, 100,000 followers and 40 likes on a picture, or you'll see that they have 100,000 followers and 5,000 likes with two comments on a picture. So, or, or sometimes they get the whole package, they buy 100,000 followers, 
they buy the 5,000 likes and they buy 100 comments of just spam though. So, I mean, I'm not sure why, um, but yeah. I do get a lot of spam comments in mine as well. Um, and the reason why, if anyone ever wonders, is because I use the hash marks or uh, the hashtags, I'm sorry. I use the hashtags and people target the hashtags, like people with bots target the hashtags and they, um, they leave automatic comments, those are all bots. Um, and if any of you follow me and notice instantly a bunch of other crypto related pages follow you, is because those are all bots as well. There's a lot of bots out there guys, don't be fooled. Bitcoin daily is the real deal. Um, I'm out guys, till the next one, peace.